And my final must have a colander for draining vegetables, for draining pasta. Okay, very, very important to have. Now, moving on to the things you'd like to have, but if you don't have them, there's no big deal. I mean, I like the wooden spoon. Chefs can't have them in the restaurants, but you can at home, all right? A nifty little tool for scraping, or taking out melon, making melon balls. Now, I make barbecued pork ribs with a lot of barbecue sauce. This is a very practical tool, this silicone brush, to brush on my barbecue sauce. I like it. For me, it's a must-have. Now, I don't bake a lot, um, but if you are uh, a baker, I would invest in a rolling pin. Now, if you don't bake that often, uh, do what I do and use uh, an empty bottle of wine. Now, this contraption will probably look familiar to people who like dim sum or Chinese dumplings. Uh, it's a steamer. You put this inside a shallow pot and you wait for the water to boil. You put this on top. Now, you can put in vegetables, you can get some dim sum. Uh, I use this a lot with shrimp. It produces a nice, juicy shrimp. So I steam my shrimp, a little bit of spices. The mandolin. No, this is not a mandolin that you can play with. This is a very dangerous tool. The blade is very, very sharp. Be careful with this. It's very, very dangerous. Now, I won't show you my, my boo-boo, so I recommend two things. Number one, don't use this tool after drinking the aperitivo or after a half a bottle of wine. And always use this instrument to put on top of your vegetable, potato, and just slide it down. You can do probably five times more potatoes this way and very accurately than with your sharpest knife. Now, some people don't like this. I like it. It has a very uh, nice container here uh, to catch the potatoes so it doesn't spread all over your uh, cooking service. Now, this is a, I wouldn't call it pijada, uh, but this is a uh, citrus squeezer, lemon squeezer, it's about the right size, to get the lemon juice. Now, this handy contraption is a zester, so you take your lemon, very carefully, you take the lemon zest off, going down the sides and being careful not to get into the white part, which is called the pith. Um, other things that are cool to have, uh, but not really necessary. I mean, if you want to impress your friends cooking, get a squeeze bottle. You put some uh, sauce in here, you know, make some squiggly lines, and you look like Fira Nadria. Now... This is a garlic press. Some people don't like it. Some people just prefer to slice their garlic very thin. It does come in handy if you have to um, crush a lot of garlic. A mortar and pestle. Mortar and pestle. Is it necessary? No. I really like to have it. Uh, you can use this to make alioli. You can use this um, to crunch up pepper, peppercorns. Now, we have a pepper mill to mill and grind pepper, but if you haven't got this, and I recommend it, uh, you can just put the peppercorns in here, chop it up. Now, these two instruments, well, these two things, tweezers. Uh, essential for taking out bones in fish. If you bake a lot of chicken or roast a lot of chicken, this is butcher's twine, or if you make a rosti, that comes in very handy. With roast chicken, you use this to tie the legs together, so it gives it an even um, bake. The wok. Is this thing necessary? Well, unless you have a stovetop that can reach high temperature, it's not necessary. You can do the same thing 
uh, which is basically stir-fry in your saute, large saute pan uh, as you can in a wok. You do need a stove that can reach high temperature. If you bake a lot, you get a more accurate measure on the scale than with a cup. So um, I think expert chefs, bakers, use the scale when they measure their product. Now, if you're a Fernand Adria wannabe, or just a fan, or you like avant-garde cuisine, Heston Blumenthal, Grant Lachatz, Jose Andres also in the United States. Uh, by the way, Jose Andres is probably considered one of the most influential Spanish chefs uh, in the United States. Here we have a tool that they use quite often, I'm sure. It's a nitrogen oxide dispenser. It'll make your things foamy, your chocolate foamy, your cream foamy. Do you need this? No. Would you like to have this? Yes. You can impress your friends when they come over for dinner. Um, not necessary. It's a kettle. If you're too lazy to take a pot and boil your water for your tea, well, this is it. We can trash this, actually. Now, for all you margarita mavens, this is essential. The blender. You can make your cocktails. You can also liquefy other uh, products, juices, fruits. Make juices with this. And for the home baker, this is, uh, I think, a very important tool. Uh, you can make dough with this. You can knead bread with this. Uh, you can make uh, cake mix with this. You can make pizza dough with this. So if you really like to use the oven uh, and bake things, you really need this.